Right? Let's all agree to do those four things, guys. Right? Be impeccable with your word. Your word is bond. It bonds you. Don't take anything personal. We're coaching you to become a better person, to become a better football player, to become a better man. And shame on me if I just coach you to play football, right? If you're doing something that I know is not right in your life, I'm going to try to coach you on that too. And your teammates should be trying to help you, pull you along. That's what this thing is all about. Don't assume many things, right? No assumptions. When you assume, it makes an ass out of you and me. So don't assume nothing. If you have a question, ask it, right? And always do your best. Plain and simple. Let's agree to do that, and everything else will take care of itself. Take care of the little things, the big things will take care of themselves. All right? Let's have a great day today. All right? Somebody light me up! Shh! Boom! Hey, boy! We got red swords. We got catapult. We got fighters. So it's good. Hey, boy! She's Baki. It's us! We got catapult. We got red swords. Let's check. Hey, boy! Boom! They want two! You about to bust your ass boy! Take care, keep your feet, keep your balance. Go, go, go! The definition of leadership to me, or being a leader, is maximum responsibility. Being accountable. Got to be accountable all the time. Being available, availability is a big thing. Being able to show up. To me, uh, leadership is all about influence. Somebody who bears the weight of others while bearing the pressure of you know, wanting to be successful himself. The viewpoint that when you look at leadership in regards to it being about influence, there's no way that you can deny the fact that you are a leader. Leadership is definitely one of the biggest areas of growth we've had this spring. Well, I've seen a lot of guys uh, assume uh, a role of leadership. Like, you, you know, we had Cole uh, Garcia, as you mentioned, um, step up and deliver a, a, uh, a great message to the team post-practice after uh, our first practice of the spring. I did not have it planned that I was going to speak after practice. However, I always have something in my back pocket for if I'm given the opportunity to speak, I make sure that I'm going to seize that moment. The way I looked at it is, is, is almost not a culmination, but like probably an eight months worth of work. You know, I said this to the media guys yesterday because they were asking the same thing. And I said, well, Cole couldn't have given that speech last June or God, even last October. First, for myself, I've heard a lot of speeches, a lot of different things from people. So I've never heard what he said before from anybody, no a video or anything. So it was, it, was, it was unique and original to me. In terms of the message I put out there, um, it's really just exactly how I feel. Um, every day you go through highs and lows, every year, every month. And now guys are going to say, hey, man, like he's doing the right thing. But now Cole has the pressure on him of I've said what I said. I said how I feel. I want you to follow me. But now Cole's got to back that up daily now. Not that he wasn't doing it before, but there's a difference between doing it before you become a leader and doing it after you become leader. Because after you become leader, all eyes are on you, man. Like that's just the way it works. Like you want to be at the top. Everybody looks at the top. You can speak all you want to. You know, um, but if nobody's listening to listening and following, you just you're just you know out in front with with nothing going on. You have no idea what you're going through, what the f it's gonna do. For you. If you went one in fucking eleven, let me tell you right now, you were highly blessed and favored. You were still here now.
there's dudes back here that left on morning 11. And they gotta live with that forever. But us, we have the opportunity for the greatest turnaround in all of college football ever. From 131 to bowl games, to rings on these fingers. But let me tell you, gentlemen, it ain't gonna be easy. They say if you look at hard situations in life, like a boiling pot of water, you can be one of three things. You can be the carrot, you can go in that pot of boiling water and you can get soft. It can make you a You can be the egg, you can go in that pot of boiling water and get hard and shut off everybody you love and everything you love and become cold. Or you can be the coffee bean who gets thrown in a pot of water, pot of boiling water, and you gotta rename that coffee. You don't get to call that water anymore because that coffee bean dominated that situation. Everything, man. And it's not the fact that I got a pancake block or that I made a block that scored a touchdown on a screen. It's the fact that I did what I was supposed to every single time it was asked me. Didn't and didn't care about how much it hurt. And that's the only way you can try to be a coffee bean. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, greatness on three, one, two, three. Greatness.